Well, I can go in here. My father was there. <laughs> well, that was my clue all along, so. Oh, hello. A tiny lamp. Oh, bunnies. <laughs> Hi, bunnies. Lots of fun staying in that cage, right? <laughs> yeah, there's the lock. Just like the other elderly people have over their heads when they don't want to talk. A home for domestic honeybees. Okay, get away from there. I don't like bees. They sting just like the white ones. One of Red's courage tests was to stick your head in the hole. I've never done it, obviously. The elderly woman said to be courageous. Stretch your hive. <laughs> Is there something in there? Huh? It's empty. There aren't any bees. Well, we passed the courage test. It was a stupid test, but I... I found a key to... Ugh. <laughs> you said it was empty! You can't say you found a key, but I am happy that you did. <laughs> Got a recipe. You trolled me! God damn it. <laughs> Where's the key? It doesn't even look like a key. It, it looks like it could be a key to a train station. <laughs> well, it looks like it's just made of wood. But it says rusty, so it's obviously not wood. Red is such a cheater. Various metal. Uh, <laughs> talking about, thinking about metal. Various materials. I think the farmer uses them to repair the animal shelters when necessary. Oh, let's probe the farmer. Uh, what's this? A pot of... Let me see that again. A pot of vegetables and fruit. When he was a child, I guess, because it's song of children. It makes him think back. Not just their emotion, but it makes him think back. Get off my field. Don't come any closer or you'll ruin the whole harvest. You talk to me when I'm the furthest away from you. <laughs> Always a pleasure. I won't ruin your entire harvest, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Ha, hello. Mm -hmm. He won't let me pass. Well, I don't suppose the key would fit in there. Probably not at all. It's not the right key, yeah. I love this music. I said it before, but I love this music. I don't know where this would fit, like some sort of shed or something, I would imagine. A rusty key. Well, there's one thing we could check. Our cat was hiding in this bag. Are you still there? It moved. Yes. Now let's check. It's very red. <laughs> I don't trust it, but it's just it just has a cat inside it. So, what we do, we just put one here then. Wait. We don't need you, we'll put you here. Like this. Uh, why don't you go... Oh, because there's a... It's a waterway sort of thing. It's a bridge. It's a way under the bridge. Oh, you know what? I'm stupid. I am so... I thought this was a... A decoration and that I actually had to put it up here. Okay, this is also an exit. I can choose between this and this. I can't find any way to go to this one. Or maybe we can find to go to the left one. Maybe that is the trick. I need to lead it to the left one. So that means that I will have to take this here instead 
and we have to go all the way over... We have to go to this one, over here. Okay, I have to go all the way around, I think, for this to... to work. I, I actually need the top ones. Oh, this is a bit more complicated than I hoped it would be. Okay, take away all of these cogs for now, because... Oh, that spins a lot. That spins a lot, wow. Is it because I kept turning them around? There we go. Oh, I have to... It's not enough to just take, you have to take both as well. Oh my goodness. Okay, so if I do... Oh, how do I... <laughs> Okay, hang on. This, and then... No, that, that takes everything away. <laughs> oh, yes! Oh my god, I spent so long doing that. <laughs> Going back in time on this one better be worth it. God, this cat is such a pest. Hey, what? Ah, you found me. Hide and seek, boy. Aren't you blue? I thought it was a cat. Oh, it's just you, Lucy. It's not just me. Do you know what I sacrificed to come here? <laughs> what are you doing here? You weren't playing hide and seek. Now they'll find me. I'll go back in the back then. The others aren't playing anymore. They're by the bench doing other stuff. Oh no, they don't like him either. Or they just forget. Or you're just that good. Ah, they didn't tell me. Well, they had to find you first, didn't they? <laughs> but, well, do you want to play with me, Lucy? Uh, of course I would, Lucy. Would you like to chat for a bit? Well, let's, let's, let's call that a game. Sure. Of course we will play. And then Olivia started telling me that these strange things about monsters all these starish things about monsters. I got scared and left. Ah, adults always do that. Yep. I'm trying to find out what I can. I was told that my uncle was taken away by monsters because he used to talk too loud. This weird thing to threaten people with, to silence them with. It's wrong. He always made me laugh. I enjoyed staying with him. I want to find out what happens to people who disappear. Can I ask you some questions? Sure, go ahead. Your uncle. Do you know how he disappeared? He was playing hide and seek with me. My favorite game. It was his turn to hide, but... I couldn't really find him that time. Well, maybe it's just like you. <laughs> maybe he thinks that you're still playing. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, if the others didn't find you, they uh, eventually would go and do something else, thinking you left. But let's be honest, those, those children are kind of being very rude, aren't they? I couldn't really find him at that time. I asked the adults to help, but I didn't find him ever either, or, or they didn't want to. He said that maybe he hid in the forest and got himself lost. I think even he wouldn't go to the forest, but... Did you ever go looking for him? Are you crazy? Don't you know it's forbidden? The monsters would take me away too. Well, I have to go then. See you later. Sure, bye. But before I do... Before I do... Let me probe your feelings. <laughs> it sounds like a dragon breathing fire. Like a Godzilla or something. Can I ask you some questions again? I have to go. Sure. It sounded a bit more rude than I wanted it to be, but... Probe you. 
hat. Your profession, I guess. Shame, though. Looks like it's gonna take longer than I thought. There's no shame in that. I'm glad I've got my hat, or the sun would have burned my head. I've never seen you with that hat before. It looks good. Haha, <laughs> it does, doesn't it? It was a gift from my father, when I wasn't much taller than you are now. What happened then? Did he disappear into the forest too? Nope. Sometimes people die of old age too, you know. <laughs> I like this guy, yes. He has a healthy humor and... Well, he's joyful. Ah, I see. Two? <laughs> that they can die of that too. Oh. As I moved around, my mother had white eyes, but it looks it looked a bit red as I moved around. That was a bit airy. Let's check this hat. <laughs> this one should be easier, shouldn't it? Okay, so what if I twist you once and then put the cog there and then... Ah! <laughs> I've done a smart. I have performed a smart. Got it. Became complicated fast. <laughs> huh? Reprimand. Stay there. Not allowed to come with. Oh, you want to, but you're not allowed to come with. Almost as if he left. Left the hat there to be nice. He wants to follow his owner. Yeah. Dogs can be creatures quite filled with love. I can't, it's tight too tight. How can I untie it? Oh, it's gonna run into the forest though. That's gonna give us an excuse to go into the forest. I will need a knife. I shouldn't go back in yet, I haven't finished my research. And I don't wanna spend time with Olivia. But Olivia's nice. Oh, the shares. I might be able to use that with the dog leash. And those shares. Listen, can I borrow those just for a little moment? My drooling shares? I don't know about that. I'll give them back in the blink of an eye. If mom found out I loaned her tools to one of my friends, she'd go ballistic. I don't want her to be in trouble again. Oh, come on, you're my bestie. What do you say? Are you talking about the time you lent me your mom's pots and pans for a basket of cherries? <laughs> that and other times too. Your ideas always end with me spending an afternoon getting scalded. But you like cherries. I love cherries. But I'm not kidding, Lucy. Mom's always keeping an eye on me. I don't want to get into any trouble. Okay, okay, I understand. Well, then come with me. <laughs> Bring them with I, It's right up here. It's just up there. What about the old man, then? That old man down there. It seems like he's mad at you for something. That man over there keeps staring at me. I think maybe he hates me. I don't know why, though. He seems important. It's making me nervous. If you want, I can try talking to him. Are you sure he won't get angrier? <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll be nice to him. Maybe you'll be nice to me with those shares then. <laughs> yeah, you do seem to be just staring in her general direction. Are you the ambassador of these monsters or so? Is she gonna be taken next? There's no one here who knows how to treat flowers, right? They have no passion for it. Well, they're being cut, <laughs> ripped from their, from their stilk, <laughs> so. Oh yeah, we're looking at you. Don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> don't worry, we're having a chat. You know I'm trying to get on his good side. So, these flower beds look beautiful. Perhaps they only need some water. Water? There are dry leaves everywhere. Old branches that need to be cleaned up. 
and the ground is too hard. It's not a flower, but it's a forest. I was about to say, it's a desert, <laughs> but okay. <laughs> uh, so are you a gardener? Gardener? Who me? Tss, you young brats don't know anything. Well. Oh. Oh, we got him talking. If I may, I'd like to ask some questions about the town. The forest. What can you tell me about the forest? Haven't they taught you anything? No, I mean, have you ever gone there? To do what? Talk with monsters? You couldn't have asked a more stupid question. Um, what about the monsters then? Do you have any idea what the monsters look like? They definitely resemble brats like you. <laughs> Leave me alone. Well then, nothing. I clicked nothing and I just said nothing. <laughs> we're having this menu in our mind as we speak to people. And we just said nothing because we just had it. I'd like to ask you, but yeah. Nothing. <laughs> well, maybe he liked enough of it, so maybe I can probe him now. Yeah, you liked flowers like I did when I was very young. And it's torn. Let's see if we can put this back together. Oh, it's this again, it's this again. Uh, let's see, what did we do? Down here, and then over there, over there, and up, and down to Daisy. We fixed you. A child with a flower in his hand. That would be you, I suppose. Oh, there's a flower behind this one's back. Oh, yeah, they're giving a gift. There you go. It's a beautiful flower. Once this place was full of Thibiscus flowers. What do they look like? You can't see them around here because nobody keeps them anymore. It's a beautiful blue cobalt flower with white Petals. I think I've seen that before. Explain that again. Okay, I, I, I'm gonna see. What was it? Blue petals. I, I sort of dozed off a little bit there. I was a bit evasive at getting you to speak, so I just sat that in. Well, I, I'm just happy that he speaks. The flower down. Halt. Yeah, there's no going that way. Not yet. Maybe he will help our friend then. Our bestie. Uh, let's have a little jog around. Various materials. I think the farmer uses them to repair the animal shelter when necessary. So I'm not allowed to go here. Hello? Hello what? What are you doing here, little girl? This is my field, not a playground. Go bother someone else. That surly old man. And he complains about our pranks, he deserves them. Can I ask you something? I'm working. Oh, okay, well, you stopped working now, so... <laughs> The forest. Have you ever been to the forest? What? Who told you that? Uh, no one. I I'm asking everyone if they've been there. I didn't accuse you, but it seems like you were at the forest, judging by your eager response. No, no one. I was just asking. That's ridiculous. Everyone knows to going to the forest is a madness. Tell me, do I look mad to you? Okay, so maybe it was, he thought it was a rumor. <laughs> it sounded a bit defensive, though. So either he believes that someone's spreading a rumor about him, or he truly went there and was easily defensive. But I didn't. It's kids nowadays. And the people who disappear? I want to know everything about the people who disappear. Can you tell me anything? <laughs> Contradictionary. So, everything versus can I tell just anything? <laughs> oh, okay. 
What's there to tell? They didn't respect their rules, he says with some grievance in his eyes. Your father told you a million times, so... Oh, well, where is our father? Don't think I don't know what you're doing. Excuse me? You're here on behalf of your snot-nosed friends. You're hoping I'm the next to disappear, right? No, 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 no. I'm sorry, but it will never happen. I'll never say never, but that that was not the case. That's not why I, what I'm asking. I know very well how to live here. Certainly not kids. Certainly not like kids who bother people while they're working. Keep on like this, and they'll end up taking you too, you'll see. That is a cruel thing to say. I didn't say anything wrong. You're just assuming that I'm doing kid stuff, doing bad stuff. I'm just curious. You want to know what happened to friends and our mother was lost as well. Like, be nice to us. I've known your father for a long time and I'm telling you, for his sake, behave, miss. Because behaving ensures that you're safe, apparently. The monsters. Have you ever seen a monster? No, no. That's not how it works. Interesting, he knows more <laughs> than he wants to say. The monsters are the ones watching us, deciding who will be next. Is that so? People who raise their voices too much, the loud ones, those are the ones they prefer. Oh, well, it was nice knowing you, then goodbye, because you just raised your voice. <laughs> I try to be calm, if, if, that is, if that even is correct. The rule is simple. Stay quiet. Our mom stayed quiet. No, no, our mom sang, actually. But we sang as well. <laughs> but she sang inside. She wasn't that noisy. Ah, uh, nothing. I have to go. Oh, thank you for that. Oh, this cute little thing. Do you really need a padlock for a rabbit cage? Well, if you believe that someone's stealing them, then yeah. Then yeah. Roar! Here comes the monster. Don't play like that. That's gonna happen. I'm not gonna go with the others. They were pretty mean today. Ah, uh, well, I suppose I can see that. It reminds me, I think something like that happened to me when I was young. A few times. <laughs> so do you want to play the invading monster with me? Uh, no, uh, not now. Can I ask you some questions again? Okay. And we sit down. I have to go on this one. I'll see you later. Sure, bye. That is the most mean of all. Ah, well season, a specialty of the town. Yeah. No memories of the environment. Let's check you again. Monster. It wants to play invading monsters. It looks like a happy monster. So I suppose we play with him at one point. The old woman left. Oh. You got a crate. That's a crate? It looks like a stool. And it sounds liquidy. Oh, hey! Oh, yes! We can combine this. This could be useful. You got a rake. Well, it won't be a rake for much longer with my plans. Crate. And this. Right click. Come on, that, 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 I guess I need some, something to stick it to there. With a slingshot, we didn't need something to sling, but... Dirty tools, full of cogwebs. Well, we can use the cobwebs to attach it. <laughs> I don't know, want to know anything more in there. Okay, in here. I suppose this is where the hens go when it's dark. And there's the forest. The forest is so close. I feel anxious already. I still wonder if this is in our mind that it's so red like this. It's so unnatural. 
This game is for adults only. They don't trust our arm, uh, our aim with darts. <laughs> but playing with a slingshot and rocks, that's fine. <laughs> and the shrug. The same shrug as when we try to combine something that doesn't work. But yeah. I detect some sarcasm. One more of these in, in a town is always welcome. It's empty. Can we sing for ourselves? No. <laughs> down, down, down we go. Hi, Sunny. I still want those shares. Not even for a second then. Not with mom at the window looking at me. Absolutely not. Okay, sorry. Yeah, I was wondering if I could, if I could cover it up, but then she would... <laughs> no, just... Who tied you up? Well, we know who tied you up. I'll find a way to see it. set you free, don't worry. His owner tied him up, wasn't it? It's the woodworker's shed. The woodworker tied him up. The girls we heard at night, they come from out there. And also here. As I gaze towards the forest, I always feel something weird. And it creeps me out. Well, we are so isolated. At one point, someone has to leave for another town, right? Why do people disappear? The farmer says they capture those who are too loud. The old lady by the river says it's all their fault. Their fault? Like the, the old people's fault? Why is no one looking for the missing people? The old lady by the river says the posters are there too. Tell us who's gone, not look for them, like a memory. Crazy old lady knows mom's song, and she claims she's the one who taught it to her. The crazy old lady says the forest used to be different. Well, naturally, you must have come to this village somehow. <laughs> At one point in time, this village must have been founded. But what are the monsters like, and what are the voices in the forest? There's no clues so far. Oh, there. Looky there. That is a big blue flower. It even looks a lot like the one in his imaginary uh, vision. I remember seeing a blue flower in Olivia's garden. Yep, you can see it here. Could that be what the old man was talking about? I suppose this key would not fit here at all. <laughs> a toolbox. It must be a farmer's. Well, then we might know what the key is for. It's locked. Typical of him. Looks like he tried to lift the whole thing. <laughs> let's see, my bag. Rusty key. Perfect. Let's see. Oh, what a ball. Is, what's it this? A pile of rusty scrap. Hook. Meat hook. You got a hammer. Oh. Anything else? Oh, I suppose not. Hammer. Hammer. What do we do with a hammer? I don't even know how to use half of these tools. Well, maybe there's a nail we can... Uh... <laughs> there's broken nails. <laughs> Rusty crap. Broken crap. Oh, there was a hand here. We got a hook. Oh, I thought I clicked that. It looks a bit like a fish hook, but I think it was a meat hook. Everything else is just magnifier glass. <laughs> Hook them together. Wait, what about the cage? We don't have a key for the cage, but... Oh. Oh! 
<laughs> what? Ark that again. Get back here. That's not how it works. That is hiding. <laughs> I believe the farmer will be looking for them all day. Happy face. Happy eyes. It's like, didn't even question that someone might have done it. Maybe that was a bit drastic, but those rabbits needed some air and we needed investigation. I don't like that. I, wait, we're going all the way around there. Not leaving prints or something. It's a scarecrow. It scares birds with... Wait. A passion for cooking. So we don't conjure one of those. We just take this. It's holding a peel for some reason. Take it. You got a peel. What if we put on... Oh, that was not the bag. There's the bag. <laughs> what about the rake? Ah. Ah, well. Doesn't need it anyway. I must have gotten that from the baker. I suppose they were close as well. Now I know someone who will be thrilled to have this. Hi. Guess what I. Let's, let's taunt him first. Let's just talk with him first. Hey, Lucy, did you find my gift? Ah, uh, not yet. Oh, okay. That's enough. Uh, teasing. I'm just kidding. Here it is. Look. This is your gift, right? Yes, Lucy. That's it. Thank you. Remember your promise? Of course. You can pass now. <laughs> You're gonna be in more trouble than me. Uh, well, there's more, not more... Yeah, I'm leaving you. <laughs> oh. Hey. Remember me? What? What is this? What is faster between a frog and a hedgehog curled up because it's scared? You can only see the snout. 